Good evening everybody, it's your boy Hydrocon here, and I wanted to go over Chia again. There's a few things that I wanted to go over in this video as things that I wish I knew, as well as what you're seeing right here was the Raspberry Pi. I've been seeing a bunch of videos where you've got people going over the Raspberry Pi and them saying that oh you can you can uh, plot with with the Raspberry Pi it's super cheap you don't need to be spending a lot of money on a computer and that that's incorrect that that is 100% incorrect I actually have a Raspberry Pi 4 and it cannot I repeat it cannot plot Chia but what it can do is it can harvest it so your machines that are doing the plotting that are putting the final destination on your hard drives you don't know, need to be running those machines as they suck a lot of power just to do the harvesting you can actually transfer that to your Pi now you do need to keep in mind that with the Pi anytime that you transfer your your uh, your final destinated plots over to a new machine there's a chance that you can lose all your progress I've been seeing a bunch of people in the community that saying that they've lost all their progress because it didn't transfer it got corrupted something happened so I wanted to go over here you will see on the um, the Chia website on github here you will see that there is the install process for a Raspberry Pi it can either be on Ubuntu or the Raspbian and this is where a lot of people are getting, I want to say confused and are wrong. I don't want to just call them, they're lying to you. I'm sure there are some people genuinely lying to you just to get the views. And that really upsets me because that's misinformation and misinformation is always bad. So if you do have a Pi, they do have part of the wiki here where you can install it on the process on how to do it. You can use it through terminal. You could even uh, use the experimental GU. UI although I've had a lot of problems with the GUI so I've just went through the process here to install it and then you can actually install the GUI through terminal as well and get it going through that I find that a better process and you can have your Pi like I said you can have your Pi up it doesn't require a lot of power it can do the harvesting but it cannot do the plotting now I can show you what happens if you would like so please let me know down below if you would like what happens uh, I would have to take a, probably a photo with my phone um, I'm not sure really how I would uh, do that on my pie I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out though but um, what will happen is you'll try and plot it and you would think that it can plot because it's a quad core you got four or eight gigs of RAM uh, just hook up your, your hard drives to it but that's not the case it is not powerful enough to be able to plot and every video every guy anything that I have any information that I have found that claims that you can plot with this thing you cannot do it I have not been able to figure out how to successfully do it I've tried many many things and the Raspberry Pi just cannot do it it is not powerful enough it can't it gets for me and I've tried two different pies, not just one. For me, it always gets stuck on 6%. That is where it gets stuck, it's where it stops, and it crashes right then and there. I've tried Ubuntu, I've tried the Raspbian, and it's the same thing on both cases. You cannot do it. And the other thing that I wanted to go over about, about Chia that I really wish I knew is you really need to check your RAM. And the best way to, that I found to check your RAM is to download this. It's free. It's called MemTest86. Uh, a lot of the companies that make RAM, they will tell you before you send an RMA to get memtest86 on a flash drive check your ram see if it throws errors and i really wish i would have checked this before you start mining chia or even trying to plot you need to make sure that your ram does not throw errors because ram will look like it's doing fine and that everything is good however when you start to plot because it is such a heavy process on your machine It'll it'll throw errors in Linux. It'll blue screen in Windows, and it took me two weeks to figure it out because I never really knew to to check this in such a process. But then again, this is not my field of expertise. 
and I didn't know to check this. So this is really a learning experience for me as well. You need to check your motherboard, make sure that it doesn't have issues with the RAM slots, which that can be done with RAM that you do know is good and, and check it with the errors. But all you do for MIM86 is you go to download, you don't have to buy the Pro. Whenever it loads, it'll download this file down below and then what you will do is you will it actually comes with a flash tool installer you put a flash drive in you install it you run it boom uh, you shut down your computer you plug it in and you go to BIOS and you tell it to boot from flash drive and you let it run its test and another thing that you can do as well is you can also check your hard drives you need to do that as well Windows comes with a standard uh, tool to do that I'm sure there's other free tools that you can do to, to check your hard drives to make sure that they're good but I, I've generally found Windows to be fine but these are the two things you need MIM86 you need to test your RAM and your Pi cannot plot. I hope that this was a short... I hope this video was very helpful to you all, even though it was short. I like to try and stick to short and sweet. Please let me know if anything is incorrect down below. If you can prove that I am wrong, I will admit that I am wrong. And if you can show me that there is a way to do this, please, I would love to know. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.